This is Jonah chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. It says, And the people of Nineveh believed God. They called for a fast and put on sackcloth, from the greatest of them to the least of them. The word reached the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, removed his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in ashes. So Jonah finally delivered God's message to the people of Nineveh. Now in verse 5, we have a summary of how the people responded to it. Now they could have laughed at him, or ignored him, or worse still, they could have imprisoned him, or beat him, or even killed him. However, they believed what he had to say to them about God. Now this passage could be translated that they supported his message to them from God. Well, at some point, according to verse 6, Jonah also received the attention from the king of Nineveh, who was convicted of his message. The latter parts of verses 5 and 6 describe the seriousness of their belief in Jonah's message. There was evidence that they were serious about it. They fasted and put on sackcloth, which would have been some kind of a burlap-type coverings. Going without food was a way of appealing to a God, or to the true God. In other words, it was a way in which a person expressed to God that he was in a greater need of God helping him than receiving the basic need of food. Putting on sackcloth was another way of expressing one's humility and need for God's help. And people among all classes, from the greatest to the least of them, were involved in this response. The king expressed this by separating himself from his lofty position and appearance. That is, he separated himself from his throne and his royal garments and other visible regalia. And he took his humble seat in dust and covered himself with sackcloth. The people of Nineveh sincerely humbled themselves. They were not simply going through the motions. When God in some way points out a sin in our lives, we should turn away from valuing anything above God and his ways, and instead recognize the value and worth of God as greater than anything else, and we should be sincere about it. Now, what do you believe the difference is between sincerely turning away from sin by turning to God versus just going through the motions of it? In our next devotion, we're going to be looking at this same passage, but with a different discussion. As you meditate on this passage, I want you to think about how God expects us to be sincere and authentic when we seek his forgiveness. And as you respond in prayer to this passage, tell God that you like his message of calling us to get right with him. This is praise. And sincerely ask God to forgive you of any sins he points out in your life today. And step out in faith. Whatever sin you're struggling with, try to think about what's at the root of that sin that you value so highly. For some of us, it could be material possessions, or respect, or attention, or affirmation, or pleasure, or control or convenience, or a host of other things. Placing high value on these things is what's called idolatry. We can deeply think about these things without even realizing it. We can react in negative ways whenever we can't have them, or if they're threatened to be taken away from us. Replace these thoughts by filling your mind with counter thoughts that are godly and found in scripture, biblical scripture. Write them down and look at them often.